In this video, we're going to build a runbook that takes an input parameter, and that input parameter is going to be a customer name. And then we're going to take a query from our Postgres uh, database. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, select the customer name. So we're going to get that customer's name, and we're going to get all the data about that customer name from our customer table, right? And then we will save that, the output of this query into uh, customer data. But how do we get customer name into our runbook? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add a parameter. So if you come up here into our runbook at the top, we have parameters. And you can see there's no input parameter. So we're going to add one and we're going to call it customer name. It's going to be a string. We can add lots of things. You can add numbers, right? So this could be like, you know, 20. You can make it true or false. Um, you can add an array, an object, you can add a secret. And a secret, you can see, you just don't see the value, it's hidden. All right, uh, but it doesn't need to be a secret, it can just be a string, and we can make the default value John Doe, right? Um, we're gonna create that. So now we have an input for the customer name, and the default is John Doe. We could change this, and at runtime we could make it Doug, right? And then we can run this. And so when we run this, what it's going to do is that is now saved as an input. So any that is available as a variable. Customer name is a variable. So we can actually come here. We can add an action. We can say print customer name. And it'll say Doug. All right. If we change this to... You see how that works. And now we can hit run on this write Postgres SQL query, and it will get all of the data about Fred Flintstone from the customer table. This is a made up table, it doesn't actually exist, so I'm not gonna run the action because it'll fail. But in this video, you've seen how we can take an input parameter here, in this case, customer name, Fred Flintstone, and it's a variable as a variable. So we can print it, or we can do further things like make SQL queries or other uh, manipulations with that data.